Nina this Saturday night. Nina's a kickboxer. She's a striker. She don't like the MMA game, you know. And, uh, I am a well-rounded fighter, and I feel like MMA is the key to be her. This is a really huge opportunity for her. I think some people were surprised when they booked this fight. Do you feel like she's on your level, like among the best in the division? There is level of levels for this game, you know. And uh, I, I feel like Nina is a great fighter, but I'm a top five. It's different, you know. There's levels to this game. And um, um, when I wanted to fight, she was the only one stepping in, so I took the fight. Was there any hesitance on your part to, to wait for someone higher ranked, or is that just you needed you wanted to fight and you needed to fight, so you just started? I wanted to fight someone high ranked, but there was nobody for, for this card. There was nobody from that time, so we just took that fight. You mentioned there's levels. Uh, you fought for a title. I mean, you've been in there with some of the top competition. How much do you feel like that will play a role in, in the fight on Saturday, just the, from an experience standpoint? I have way more experience than her. Um, I feel like I'm better than her. I'm well-rounded. I know everything that can happen in there. We trained together in the past, and I feel like I'm way better than her. What, how long did you train with her? Like five years ago. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And, where, and how did where that go? That? Where, where was this? At American Top Team? Or? Uh, it was uh, master, Masters MMA in Miami, because right. you know, I'm friends with Amanda, and I went down there to was a vacation, and I ended up training with them. Okay, was there any like any hesitation to take the fight just because you guys had trained before, or I guess it's all business? No, it's business. Okay. When you guys trained together, what were your like impressions of her when you got in there and felt what she was about? That's what I know about her. She's a striker, you know. She's a, she's a good striker. But uh, we're not fighting Muay Thai or kickboxing. This is MMA. Do you think training with her has, has helped you going into this fight, stylistically? Well, it's been a long time, you know. It's five years ago. We were not even in the UFC. So, um, I love fighting strikers, you know, and uh, I don't even think about it when I have to fight a striker. I, I, I love fighting them. Claudia, uh, I know you filmed a show in Canada a few years ago. I believe this is only your second time fighting in Canada, and I don't know if you've been here in December. I see you've got the fur on. How are you enjoying this experience so far? I left the hotel on the first day I got here. <laughs> And that was it for 10 minutes. <laughs> you know, I'm from Brazil. I don't like that weather, so I, I don't want to go out there. <laughs> one, of your, one of your past opponents, Joanna and Jacek, is fighting for the title on Saturday. Were you surprised to see her get that shot, just seeing how she lost two straight not that long ago? I think she deserves to get the, the, the title shot, you know. Um, the division is new. The 125 division is very new. And we need good talent for that division. And she, she deserves to be there. Is there any thoughts? Are you going up to 25 at some point? I'll go down to 105 if they open up. Oh, really? Okay, really? so the other way. Interesting. Uh -huh. You'd be more likely to go down there than come up to 25? I would go up. The, depends on like the time and the, the opponent, you know. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the future, you know. I feel good in this strawweight division, mm -hmm. but um, I'm, so, I'm so light for that division, you know. I feel like I can do 105 easy. You had a really close fight in your last matchup and went to the judges' scorecards. Uh, is the plan to try and get a finish this time around just so you don't leave it in, in the hands of the judges? I'm not even thinking about that. You know, I had a very bad injury 10 days before my last fight, and I had surgery right before, right after the fight. So um, I, I'm not thinking about the results of my last fight. It's the past, and I'm focused on the next one. Do you yeah. think the UFC will consider introducing an Adam Weight division anytime soon? I hope so. I would go for the title right away. <laughs> if you win uh, this Saturday night, are you looking for, like, do you think you believe you should get a title shot after this victory? This Saturday I'm, concent I'm concentrating on getting better and, and learning more about, about the sport. You know, I'm in the sport for so long. It's been 10 years fighting MMA. And uh, I started fighting when we used to think that MMA was a street fight. Now, I gotta understand, and I am understanding and learning about MMA as a sport. So I'm learning a lot about myself, learning a lot about my skills, uh, a lot of things, a lot of new things uh, in my life right now. So I'm concentrating on each opponent at a time. So I don't know what's gonna happen next. Where did you train for this camp? In Las Vegas. Oh, you did the PI. Yeah. How much of a benefit has that been? Just getting all the services there, and you know, being embedded in Vegas, getting to use the you know cafeteria and all that stuff. It's great. Being the UFC Performance Institute, it's been a huge difference in, in my game, and in my life. You know, I've, I, that's what I say all the time, you know, the, the, the PI, it's like Disneyland for fighters. You know, we have everything we need to train and to have a great camp. 
not only that, but rehab, you know, all the time. You take care of your body all the time. And that's, that's being a professional athlete, you know. I'm not only going there to train, but I'm going there all day to take care of my body as well. What about training partners? Who are some of the, the people you got to work with uh, in terms of uh, bodies? So I, I go to Extreme Couture. You know, I have great training partners in there. I have great coaches in there. And I enjoy going to that gym. Claudia, um, speaking of the sport and business side of things, you've been the co-main event in your last two fights. Nina's on a good win streak. Were you a little surprised you didn't you weren't put on the main card this weekend? I don't mind. It's less media, you know, less work to do. I have to cut weight and train, so I don't mind being the pro. How is the weight cut going down from 150? Is it easy. pretty easy? Very easy. I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm like four pounds to make weight. When you uh, come off a big knee injury like you had, and obviously you know the key parts of your game revolves around grappling and stuff. Is there something in the back of your head that you know isn't going to be completely go away until you get in there and test the knee out in a real fight and everything? I think I already tested my knee enough on this game. You know, um, first I was a little concerned about it, but being the PI helped so much because I had surgery on Wednesday and Thursday I was back there doing rehab. And the following week, I was training upper body, doing everything I could. So I felt like two months after surgery, I was 100% and ready to go. And that's why I took a fight and started a fight camp right away. Claudia, living in Vegas, you must get so much support. And when you fight in Brazil, you get so much support. Have you considered pandering to the Toronto fans now in front of the media to get similar support for Saturday? And if so, please proceed. I feel great here. I feel great in Toronto. I know a lot of Brazilians live here. A lot of people message me. So I'm very happy to be here and back here because I fought here in 2011. So I'm sure I'll have, I'll have a lot of fans here. Claudia, uh, Brian Ortega is on this card. I think you're known somewhat for your Instagram comment where you said that you wanted to have his babies. Have you seen Brian at all this week? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've seen Brian. Right well, did he say anything to you? He's my friend. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Claudia. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>